Islanders hosting the Wild, and the Wild are minus 115 on the money line. The Islanders are minus 105. The over-under, I have at five and a half goals. I have Minnesota laying a goal and a half at plus 215, and the Islanders getting a goal and a half at minus 267. Both of these teams are on three-game losing streaks. Now, I'm going to take the Islanders with the money line, the Islanders getting the goals, and the over. I just have something for home underdogs, and this is the reason why. Now, head-to-head, -head, the Wild are on a two-game winning streak. The home team is 5-5. Five and five. These teams are 5-5 five and five against each other in their last 10. The favorite is 7-3 and three on the money line. The favorite or the underdog getting a goal and a half is 5-5. Five and five. There have been three one-goal games in their last 10. The over has hit in their last 10. The over is 6-4 in their last 10. And the over 5.5 is 6-4 in their last 10. So basically, these teams have been even against each other in their last 10 games they played against each other. Now, head-to-head, -head, the Wild are 20-20 and 20 against the spread. The under is 20-19 and 19 in the games in which they played in. And they are 10-6-2-1 on the road this year. While the Islanders are 23 and 19 against the spread, the under is 21 and 19, and they are 12, 6, 0, and 1 at home. And that's what swayed me to pick the Islanders as a home underdog over the Wild. I understand that both of these teams trend under. However, this over-under is incredibly low. The last game that they played, the Wild won 4-3. The game before that, they won 5-2. The game before that, the Islanders won 3-1. The game before that, the Islanders won 3-2. The game before that, the Islanders won 2-1. The last five meetings that they've played against each other, the over-under has been at five and a half, so that's kind of telling you something. Those are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.